Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crusader Kings Free, a game of thrones, where we are continuing to uh, attempt to totally not overtake the Iron Throne <laughs> as uh, the Baratheons of Dragonstone. Lord Arlen here, 35 years young, murderer, horrible person, but um, <laughs> he is the future of uh, our lands in Dragonstone. We uh, no longer have any, like, the massive alliance network we had as uh, our father Humphrey. And uh, now the Stormlands are our only aid, which means that our hopes on the Iron Throne are dwindling, to say the least, even if they're a little weaker now, as uh, Joffrey is entering old age with Tommen, soon to inherit. Uh, I was thinking, I mentioned at the end of the last episode I was considering the Vale, but they are very strong. And that's kind of the problem, is if I, if I was going to do a war over these two provinces, I would want to do it myself, you know? And I, I feel like I wouldn't really win that. <laughs> I, I, I need to call in the Stormlands, which I'm not opposed to. Uh, that'll make a bit of a cakewalk. But I think maybe we can uh, focus on some internal matters for a little while. And... Uh, Focus on ourselves and get ourselves a bit more strong. Of course, uh, Lord Arlen here isn't the best ruler. Uh, his sons definitely look like he could be quite good. Definitely a better steward than Arlen, which we'll need because we want to be a bit of a stewardship with the valuable provinces we have on these two islands. For now, I just want to get to upgrading what we already have. And uh, I hope that that will carry us for a bit. Master of Laws, I'll take that. Then we can give you your successor. We've had a problem with just not having enough knights. Basically this whole time. We're always quite low on them. Uh, a ransom? Sure. I could host a grand tournament, but I don't have the money. Is somebody else hosting a grand tournament? I thought I saw one. Yes, there's one in the reach. What, what was the point of making me Master of Laws if it's not even going to last a year? He's just he's just getting on my nerves. Quite insane, the, uh, the family history that's happened here and how Joffrey is still alive and yet we are... What are we, the great-grandchild? Yeah, we're the great-grandson of Stannis. <laughs> that's how long things have gone. Uh... Nothing wrong with having a couple rivals. An inspiration. Sure. Spend a bit of money on that. This is definitely going to be a, a sitting back and chilling episode after all the conquests. Although obviously it did feel like for me at least the conquests last time weren't much of a, a threat. But that's kind of the what you end up with in sort of this stage of... Uh, I can't afford evil way. And that's like, I'll get tyranny. I'm already a bad guy. But it's just sort of what this stage of CK3 is. Unless you want to just expand over and over and over. You kind of just have to sit uh, for a little while. And when you're just sort of sitting here waiting. You end up uh, just having a bit of repetition. But, you know. The fun in CK3 is, is jumping on the uh, surprise opportunities. But definitely I'm going to be starting up a new series soon. That will hopefully coincide with this one. Just because I feel like the, the early game of Crusader Kings 3 is the most interesting. Whether or not it'll be historic or not, uh, I couldn't say yet. And honestly, it may not be CK3. Uh, I've been long uh, wanting to do like uh, Victoria 3 as well. I love Victoria 3. I love a lot of the Paradox games. So definitely don't be surprised if there's another... Paradox game I play. How is this guy still alive? This guy must be on the, the brink of death. How is he fine? <laughs> this guy looks like he's horrid. He's a... Oh, oh dear. Stillborn daughter. Is that the second one I think Arlen's have had? Oh dear. Both my sister's married. Yeah, you're married to the Reach and you're married to the Stormlands. Okay. Ooh, a 
crown. Absolutely, I'm going to wear that. The Stormlander crown. Oh, and a Liberty faction's being started. How wonderful. I am under arrest. I am a criminal traitor. Is this, this is because of the war I went on earlier. <sighs> on the climb, I go to war. It may cause my faction to revolt. Who is my faction? Is it me? <laughs> uh. Ah. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I don't... I don't like my chances. We're just going to stay in prison for a while then. Uh, we're not going to restore accolades yet. How much would it cost to ransom me? Listen. I'm just, I like, I'm your best friend, buddy, and you should totally let, let me out. I could try and escape. If it, fa if it fails, it just angers him, is the problem. Generous. Uh, I'm fine with giving him generous because it is a a good religious trait. He would not accept. That's not great. I'll just have to steal. <laughs> Imagine if I just stole the Revian dynasty. I, like, I forgot my regent can make power moves against me now. Okay, there we go. He's going to let me go. I'm going to lose my claim on the Iron Throne. Ugh. Mm. I mean, if I decline, I don't lose the claim on the Iron Throne. I need to, I need to think a little bit here about like the long term. This would get me out of prison, but it puts the future of my claim in a shroud of doubt. Because it means that none of if I, even if I one day did have a children strong enough, they wouldn't be able to claim the Iron Throne. It's basically what I'm imagining is it's it, it's a John, a, a John a Ned Stark situation, where I'm being basically forced to claim that oh what my great great grandfather said about you being a bastard was a lie, and actually you you're not a bastard. <sighs> yeah, with how old he is. I'm going to decline. I'll stay in prison a bit longer. I'm a scheming bastard. I feel like I, I wouldn't give up for this. Let's... Maybe Master of Masters may help. Okay. I was unable to escape and I got wounded. It's not great. Uh, let's restore accolades then. There we go. A uh, level five one. It's really a very, very worthy title. Sitting in jail, my regent trying to take over my throne just so I can have my family's claim hold in future. Some would call that honourable, but uh, I don't know if I'd call that honourable. Does I have something new for my court? I thought it did. Yeah, there's. No way he would accept me ransoming myself. No. She keeps trying to further her mandate, but she must suck because she's not doing a good job of it. And I can't swing the scales back. I'm not going to give up my claim. I'm just... 
I'd rather just rot in here than give up my claim, honestly. You know, that would be disowning my son. Yes! The master manipulator just sits in jail until eventually he is... Because, I mean, it, it probably would look bad on him to have me in jail for that long as well. Considering there are... There are uh, far worse people who should be in jail. I'm not going to pay homage to him. Screw him. I could hold court, though. I caught bail in here in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Walrus Bay. Where's Walrus Bay? I... Okay. Uh, sure. Let's just kill him anyway. Kill it for its hide to get a hide carpet. Oh, I mean, have it as a pet sounds amazing. The Lordship of Blackmark. Hmm. Let's respect the traditions. But so that's who he was sending it to. He was sending it to. I, I, when I saw Walrus Bay, I was thinking this is either a free folk or it's like this sort of region here, and it's bloody free folk. <laughs> what are they gonna do with that information? Do you think they're gonna be like, just so you know, free folk? There's a uh, some funny goings on in Dragonstone, and they'll be like, where the fuck? Okay, I'm knighted now. Fucking take me in jail and then knight me. <laughs> Like, who the fuck are we? Are you even talking about, bro? What is a Dragonstone? See, this this is what we need to be working on here. Is, is how low our men-at-arms are. Because um, we have a lot of them in this way, but obviously these all want to be size 11, size 10. And they aren't because, fuck me, it's expensive. So we're just going to be sitting around for a little bit and getting money up. Get our money up, not our funny up. Although as a YouTuber, I'll hopefully do both, because it'll be awkward. What a weird claim to have. No. I could get a claim on the arbor. That's... What? The High Lordship of the Arbor. I was going to say, that's not the Reach, is it? It's, it's just this title down here. You need a new successor, do you? We'll seek one out. Oh, I forgot to end my regency. What's that faction for? You want the kingdom of Dragonstone. Blood... What is this? <laughs> this is the ugliest looking cadet branch I've ever seen. Baratheon of Sweetport. So this is my, my, what, my, oh my god, it's Edwin's brother? It's my grandfather's brother, oh my good lord, that is actually impressive, my, my great uncle is, is alive at this point, he's, he's rich, I'd happily kill for that money, he's actually quite impressive what he's done, but that banner is disgusting, uh, subdivision of my house of Baratheon, of Baratheon of Dragonstone, of the main Baratheon branch, and then also <laughs> the bloody the I, it, sorry, just seeing Lordship of Black of, of Sharp Point with that next to it is so fucking funny to me, because I assume it's I assume your mother, yeah, your mother was the Blackwoods yeah, because Stannis obviously married Alisan in this timeline they say she's alive. Oh my god! Everybody lived but Stannis is what I'm hearing. Because this is sort of what I've, I've se we've seen in these episodes. Is like after Stannis has died, it seems like everyone just kind of dies every couple of years. Can I get a good alliance? Um, I'm already allied to. It, I guess Lady Mayra would be the one that makes sense. I can't afford a grand wedding, unfortunately. I feel like Grand Wedding should be a little bit cheaper compared to like Grand Tours. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Lord John 
of Golden Tooth is having a tourney. Um, I don't need to spread rumours about random people. I'm known as the Venom Lord. Venom, 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 Venom. I mean, hey, it's an appropriate name in all honesty. <laughs> Let's repair the antlers. House Grafton is now a holy house. Sure, buddy. Sure. Yeah, it's me. Fury. Fury's gonna need repair soon as well. Let's get my fertility up, just because we've had a lot of miscarriages. Hmm. I forget if I could destroy anything to pay for it, but no. We'll just wait until I can repair it then. Uh, it only costs 15. A bit, bit expensive, but you know, this this is something that deserves being repaired. Fury is like... It is our dynasty at this point. What I could do is I could... Grant this to my son. Here we go, let's repair Fury. I could grant that one to my son, since I'd get it back again anyway, obviously. But it would be good just to have... Um, let's get you fixing over here. It would be good to have my son be a bit stronger as well. So let's gift you... It is that one, yeah. Enjoy. Have your own sword now. What's going on over here? Are they at war? A new son. My second or my spare. Um. Gunfor. That's a name. I am Gunfor. And of course he's sickly. It's, there's just something about uh, this character specifically. You, All of his kids are just sickly. Okay, so the strong cliffs try to expand a bit by the looks of it. Can I hire a maester? Can I ask for one? Yes. Oi, old town, give me a maester. A hundred? Fuck me. Maester's getting more expensive every day. That's so disgusting. How dare he? And then his heir is Sir Gerald Baratheon. Oh, sorry, Baratheon of Sweetport, they specifically are. I wish that we were renamed to Dra Baratheon of Dragonstone as the official name. But I guess, it's I guess it's because we aren't actually a cadet branch. We are still the main branch of, uh, of the house. And I wouldn't be able to create one anywhere, I think. I can declare wars. Well, I know about the Veil one, obviously. To get Needle Water. Are they down to 11k? They are. So we alone have more than them. Mm. We just don't have the money to support a war right now, though. Is the problem. Oh yeah, and then that one on Hayford. Oh, so he, he actually also has a claim still on Blackwood Vale. That's interesting. I think we... I'm still interested in going to War of the Vale, but I think we need to build up a bit of War Coppers, just because our army is a bit expensive. But also, again, I just want to really get the Men at Arms up. Is kind of my thinking. Mira, the, the betrothed of my beloved son and heir, Sirwin, passed away. All those carefully crafted plans, crushed by the stranger's fickle impulse. And now I need to find a new wife. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna die. 
Ugh. Why does nobody want to marry? High Lodge. Did the Starks not own Winterfell? What is. What? <laughs> huh? Stark of Winterfell. Why is the Starks not in charge but instead the cadet branch of the Starks are? What the hell? What's this? Why did the Iron Islands. <laughs> oh no. What's going on? Okay, where where are where's the capital of the north? Is it still Winterfell? It is Winterfell. But then there's also the High Lordship of Winterfell, which doesn't own Winterfell. Okay, you are Odd's children. Yes, I, I don't know why they formed their own. It is part. It is be, because of that Stark Tully union that um Eddard has, but I don't know why they've turned into that. This is. Too weird for my brain to comprehend. We're already allied with the Stormlands, so we don't need an alliance there. We are allied with the Reach through my half sister. Okay, so we're we still have that Reach alliance, and you're dying soon. I'm gonna be honest. What? What if I marry? Okay, no, she's already mad, and also, dear God, she has lovers pox. I guess it would be the Westerlands, but... What about your kids? No, not really. There's not many good options. If I just check normal relevance, because I'll be around the right age. No, these are all very weak candidates. None that you would see a lord married to. I guess we'll just have to wait. Keep him unmarried for a bit longer because his perfect pairing has passed away. I don't need to inspire either of you. I already have all I could one of those item types. New intrigue. Let's get torture. How is he still alive? That's the most impressive thing. His, he already has three... Uh, his heir already has three sons. Did, does he have a son? Yeah, he has two sons. <laughs> Basically, he's just been the opposite of the actual uh, Joffrey. Why do I have a claim on the Westerlands? For a lordship. Pfft. Yeah, really gonna push for that lordship. Really, really important I do that. Not so the Westerlands still owns this random bit of the veil. Who owns this? Is it the Iron Throne? Why does the Iron Throne own Hadersley? What a weird place to own. What for the life of days? The wind is refreshing, the sun warm, insects chirping. I can't, uh, who died? Oh, the, the bitch from Dawn is dead. Let's get rid of that stress, let's celebrate. The night hang, the only noise can be heard is the scrape of my shovel, dislodging the freshly heaped dirt with ease. Slowly the heap beside the grave loads larger and the body of Marl is exposed. Once again, to the fresh air, I rip the cloth covering her face, her lips apart, which drawn back in a rictus grin. All soil and grime still cling damply to her neck as I disregard her, dispa or as I regard her dispassionately. <laughs> I feed her to the pigs, which is funny. No, I'll t I will happily take a goblet of her skull. And then, do I want to continue the pain? Mm, nah, let's keep the feud going. It's fun. And now, I should have a new decoration. Ah, look at that. Wonderful. I have it just says Maria rather than, like, her actual title.
My hook on Noble Woods will soon expire. I forgot that, yes, I have, I have a hook from aiding you and taking your land. Am I not able to... Oh, because you're a vassal of Wendwater. Right. So there's not a lot I can do with this hook then, other than imprison you for no reason. Which you'd actually do anyway. Oh well. Obviously I did actually want to give them the other duchy here. But it ended up being disgustingly border gore to do that. Hey guys, look, I'm I'm a claimant faction again. Come join me. Anybody? <laughs> yeah, nobody's interested. It's funny, it's not actually that one-sided. But no one near as even as it was uh, with his father. Uh, Lord Humphrey had the best chance of anyone to push a claim. Is there any good new candidates? An alliance with Dawn, while I also have a rivalry with Dawn, is kind of funny. I think I'm going to do that, because I actually find that funny. Like, I hate her. I have the literal skull of her mother on show in my... Or is, or is it her grandmother? No, it's her mother. Her mother's skull on show in my, in my courtroom, and I'm like, you know what? Let's marry our kids. <laughs> I bet that doesn't get awkward at all. Let's upgrade. Let's get you to level 4. Again, I want to upgrade my men-at-arms. I think we go for it, right? For the Lordship of Needlewater. Let's do this. Why not? Everybody needs a bit of fun in their life. Besides, Joffrey's gonna fucking come over and tell me to stop this anyway, because he always... He hates fun. Can I get a loan? Let's get a loan to pay this. Just give me a thousand. If I go into debt, I go into debt. Why not? Sieging that land shouldn't do anything for them just because this is the war target. Oh, Castilian of the Iron Throne. Maybe because he likes me, he won't actually make me stop the war this time. You can call cool allies the war. The Stormers is 20k now? Jeez. I think I will call in one. Just have it slightly in my favour. But I, that should still. The war should still be somewhat even. Because we're only dealing with like an extra 7k rather than the 20k that's being offered. Ah, Gunther's lost sickly. That's actually wonderful. Might actually have a kid grow up. You sending over your troops? Lord Jonal. Do I want to kill her or a random courtier? Oh no, her sister. No, I want to kill her, obviously. It's way funnier. Let's catch them out. out. Oh, I've, I have the numbers on them just by myself here. Yeah, we can catch them in a really good place here. Immediately discovered my scheme. Fine, I won't kill you. Uh, let's fabricate some hooks, that's always funny. And it's useful, uh, in case Joffrey plans anything on me. A new blade, the bloodied blade that has a minus one prowess. That's hilarious, but no, we'll use Fury. It's interesting to have another blade around, though. Do 
Don't want to lose too many from attrition there. That was a lot that I could have lost from attrition. Ransom off some prisoners to make sure we don't lose much in the loan. There you go. This should be an easy loan to pay off. But I also wanted to take a loan a little bit just to improve stuff. 82%. I mean, this was only over one province. We wouldn't need much war score. It's only like when you're going for the Iron Throne that you need to constantly do wars over and over and over. Hmm. Let's do a payment schedule. I don't know why the payment schedule isn't the default. Because otherwise there's no point in taking out loans uh, in the current state of Agot. Because it's way too quick that there's no feasible way that you could repay, like, your loans. Like, unless you are literally already so rich that you don't need loans. Like, you know, if you're uh, Tywin Lannister. Then it's fine. But, like, at that point, why would you take a loan in the first place? So many random wars I can declare. But I'm not going to. We did it. And immediately gave it to Needlewater. And they gave Needlewater to uh, Lord Ganos. Jolly good show. But you, you, you are like what, my ne nephew or something? Not sure the direct relation there. Pay off that ransom. Dismiss you. Wonderful. Yeah, I definitely think that the repaying loan over time uh, should be the default for the mod. There we go, look at that. Look how strong we're becoming. I know I said I'd stop Conquest, but I do want to see how long it would take to get a claim on Duskin there. Because if I could just own all the crown lands and like literally surround the king, that would be really funny. <laughs> Impractical, but funny. God, it's so expensive to upgrade these holdings. Let's, let's, uh, I don't know why Dragonstone is earning a lot less than it was before. Let's upgrade one of these, why don't we? That's army maintenance down. Men at arms maintenance minus six. Pay another 300 off. But I do want to pay this. This, this will annoy them because it's not my money. But I actually really want one of these. And, phew, Stationed heavy infantry. Yes, please. And let's move around the stations then. Oh no, my heavy infantry is already stationed there. Wonderful. The forest of my dreams. Through my though my efforts to become a truly feared and respected figure, a vast number of guilty and disloyal persons have ended up in my dungeon. My stealth are stocked to the brim. Perhaps it's time to, for them to all meet the stranger in the Seven Hells and serve Dragonstone's entrance while they're at it. In my macabre machinations, I envision a forest of impaled lowlifes and traitors to surrounding Dragonstone on all sides. A grim reminder to everyone of what happens when a lord is betrayed. I see Mara on a spike, surrounded by commoners erected in an identical fashion. Hmm. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> Let's surround Dragonstone in, in corpses. That'll really scare away the people who can't get to Dragonstone anyway because it's an island. <laughs> Let's get looking for some secrets because I'm, I'm, I'm underusing you. Could be very useful. Let's look. Now, the Iron Throne should be the obvious place to look. Farwin just loves making factions. Nobody's going to join you, mate. You're, you're not the most relevant. Oh, we're back up to four. Congrats, you're having your title revoked. You're welcome. Oh, you were my Castilian. What a shame. 
I have a million candidates for Castilian. Don't think yourself special, boy. Let's get switch over to being the other type of uh, admiral now. Goodness me, everybody's dying. There are a lot of land stations still. Let's station. Do, do, do. Got a lot of storm blades. I should honestly, I should destroy these storm blades because it does make sense having multiple storm blades right now. Because I don't have any like horsemen or anything, right? Yeah, I don't have any horsemen, so let's get some like horsemen. And we're actually also going to station the horsemen in Driftmark. And then we'll move you to be stationed in Dragonmont. You want high tide? No. Nobody's taking high tide off me. Oh, a new guardian for my son. I, it will be me. I'll guardian gun for. Ugh. There we go. Now we're in debt. Now we're in big, big debt. If I see an option that's sadistic, I don't even need to read it. I'm going for the sadistic option. <laughs> No, I cannot, because I have no fucking money. I am broke. Okay, no secrets. In, no secrets in all of King's Landing. If you can't find a secret in King's Landing, you must be the most useless spy master. Of all time. A journalist sounds like a good trait to have. Yeah, a little bit of extra learning. A hedge wizard. The north needs furs. What a waste. Alright, somebody come pay me. Get the common touch. I lose vassal opinion but gain popular opinion. Dra development growth in Dragonstone sounds best. Your delusions are charming. Come right from my court. He's composed the cosmos' greatest balance on the sacred bond between vassal and liege. I'm sure. Um, let's ban open carry. Do it a couple thousand years early. Goodness me, just look at how little money we have. The worst thing is I think they're coming to come for another payment as well. This, again, this is this is just a thing with the loan. It, uh, there is... Goodness me, my wife is now has cancer. There is genuinely zero reason to take out a loan from Bravos. Because you just... It's way too short of you to make any use of that money. You're just going to end up like me, with a debt you can't pay off. Let's get the murder scheme power. Can I try and murder her again? Damn it. You cannot. Could I try and murder Joffrey? And then, like, have you come and support scheme? Anybody want to join in? No one wants... Okay. I can't kill him. It's gotta be someone I can kill. Yeah, look at this. I've that may be the last one they ask for as well. Oh fuck. A liberty war against who? Ten thousand. You're outnumbered by both of them. Goodness me, Dawn's a shithole. 
I'll take the, the, the hit on not joining that. I somehow have so much prestige it doesn't especially matter. Like, just look at that. It's... Like, can I ask the king to pay it off, please? Will you give me money? No? Okay. Yeah, I, there's a lot of features in the current set of Agot that I would love to see reworked. And the Iron Bank is definitely one of them. There, there's a few ideas I have about how you could fix the Iron Bank. But those are mostly more like a multiplayer idea than single player. Definitely having an actual Bravos, I think, would, would help a lot. Um, in mul I, I do a lot of multiplayer Crusader Kings. And uh, hopefully soon... If you guys are interested in playing some multiplayer Crusader Kings 3 Agot, uh, I will have a solution for you. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Uh, come in and play in some Agot with me. <laughs> but um, I would love to have... It's like, obviously all of Essos one day. But even if it's just this coast uh, of the free cities... Fuck it, I'm already in debt. Let's get more in debt. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> but, um... Just having all of that would be such an incredible way to balance things. Especially if you could have just the just a rich Bravos. A very, very rich Bravos with the sort of like the same sort of buildings you have in the Westerlands. That way you and then especially another one? Oh my god. Minus my I'm literally beyond bankrupt. I have less money. Oh and King I was about to say then King Joffrey has, but King Joffrey's dead. King Tommen is now in command. Hey King Tommen, give me some money. You could literally pay off my whole debt right now if you wanted to, and that'd be so nice of you. In fact, can I petition my liege? Do, do, do. I know it's in here, isn't it? Uh, will you pay off my debt? It's going to cost me money to even go see him. I'm just only going to get a, a Caravan Master for this. Oh, I didn't even get a Caravan Master. I forgot to. Oops. Uh, we're going to be either delayed a lot or delayed a little. Yeah, delayed a lot. Don't have that. And I died. Well, if you think about it... That is one way to settle the debt. <laughs> I mean... Am I wrong? Am I wrong? The debt is indeed settled. So... Honestly, he probably wouldn't have even paid off the debt. So in a way, I see this as an absolute win. I don't really want to go intrigue with him, though. Even if it seems like he already has a few. I, I would genuinely much rather go stewardship. I think stewardship's just better in every way. Um, let's I'll get back the right chancellors. Okay. And then I... How old is my wife? I mean, not married already? Why is she not... Why is she not available? Because we're only betrothed? Let's get married. Why are we only betrothed? There we go. Uh, you can manage domain as well. Wow. So now I have five if I want to go steal another one. <laughs> Make sure we're using Fury. We have these other blades that we can deal with if we want. So many blades. Uh, I'll need a maester from the Citadel. And I want to invite some knights. That's what those toads want. Well, I'm going to keep the few going. Never going to let it end. And now we're going into debt to pay for that. And then we're getting rid of the debt through that. Genius. Who pays for their own wedding? I mean, it's a good point. Usually the parents do, but my parents are now dead. Via the uh, offence. Which one's richer? You must be a lot richer. You are, yes. Damn, that city's earning a lot. Let's revoke your title. Get ourselves Silver Horse as well. 
12 a month. Very good income. And hopefully, Lord Serwin will live a long time. Because he seems very good. And I'd very much appreciate him not immediately dying. Okay, Sharp Point is now changed there. Look to this disgusting, disgusting off brand. I can gain an artifact. I don't need, I don't think I want to spend money on that. I can station another men at arms, which we will do. Get both of those up to four. Do I still have the claim on Duskendale? I do not know. That was my father's claim. We'll get a new one then. Oh, our cultures are not doing something new. I, I don't see a need to go to the Grand Tournament. I don't trust Tommen. Why am I even your rival? What happened? What were you doing as an AI to get him as a rival, hey, eh, Sirwin? What artifact? You want the row antler. You're like dying in a month, brother. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, look at that. No. That dude is not long for this world. Well, I think we will. We will call it there. Quite a lot happens in this episode. And once again, it feels like every episode, the last four or five episodes, we've had our leader die and a new leader come in. But I have faith that Lord Serwin could be the one to last a long time. We're not going to get ourselves in a stupid debt that spirals because this mechanics need working on. We're not going to do anything stupid like that with him. We're going to... Lord Serwin's going to finally be the smart one. I mean, look at those stats. He's a very smart man. Yes, hopefully I'll have some more announcements coming out soon as well. So keep your eye on my YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm hoping to have some some updates as well. Uh, yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I shall see you in the next one. Until then.